Microsoft introduces the Recruiting Solutions Assistant, an AI-driven chatbot that can help your organization respond to external candidates' recruitment-related queries. In addition, the candidate can search for job openings to find the perfect job. If logged into the system, the candidate has additional transactional options as well. You can access the Recruiting Solutions Assistant chatbot as a floating widget from the Careers homepage in the External Candidate Gateway. Use the widget icon to open the Recruiting Solutions Assistant chatbot. The chatbot displays a welcome message. Instead of typing your question, you can use the FAQs action button to see what the chatbot can help you with. Select the FAQs button. A list of categories appears. Select Job Searching for information on how to search for a job. If you want to see the response to the displayed question, select View Answer. If not, use the Navigation button to move to the next question. You can also enter a question for the chatbot. For example, how do I know if my application has been submitted? The chatbot responds that you'll receive a confirmation message when the application is submitted and displays further details. Of course, the categories, questions, and responses are configurable to your organization's processes. If you can't find the answer you're looking for, use the Contact Us button to get in touch with a representative. The chatbot shows the contact information. These are just a few examples of how the Recruiting Solutions Assistant helps your organization answer those repeat questions from candidates about job openings, submitting job applications, and contacts. The more you train your chatbot with utterances and intents that are specific to your organization, the more useful it becomes. This completes our demonstration of the Recruiting Solutions Assistant chatbot. PeopleSoft HCM delivers a new Kibana dashboard for health and safety that streamlines the process of viewing and analyzing workforce incident data. It provides interactive visual reports that are built using Elasticsearch indexes, enabling administrators to slice and dice incident data for the organization quickly and easily. Use the Incident Analytics tile to access the Kibana dashboard for incident data. The Incident Analytics dashboard includes several interactive visualizations. It refines the data you see on visualizations based on the specified date range. You can select a commonly used or custom date range when comparing data from different time periods. You can also filter data by regulatory region, followed by location, then establishment. Visualizations come in different chart forms to best present the data. For example, a donut chart to show the percentage of incidents by type, bar charts to show the number of incidents by date and by location, a tag cloud to show top incident types, a gauge to show incident and reportable case count comparison, a number display to show work-related case and away from workday counts, and a layered pie chart to show incidents by primary outcome and treatment method. As with any visualization, you can pause over an item to view percentage or number counts. Click an incident type in the tag cloud to view incidents that belong to that type only. This single click updates all visualizations dynamically to reflect the change and adds the filter at the top of the Kibana dashboard. To change the data displayed on the dashboard, you can add additional filters by clicking an item on a chart or the Add Filter link. Remove filters, or edit the conditions of existing filters. The Incident Details grid shows all the data used in the visual reports in a grid format. From the grid, you can add filters to further refine data to display incidents that have the selected field values only or incidents that do not have them. This completes our demonstration of the Kibana Analytics for Health and Safety feature. PeopleSoft HCM provides formatting validation for phone numbers and email addresses when entering data on various employee self-service and administrator pages. When you enter phone information, the system ensures that the phone number contains at least five digits.
It also verifies that you use numbers in the number and extension fields. Emails have a similar validation. The system checks for the proper use of the at sign, periods, and that you included a username and domain. Validations are available on the Employee Self-Service Contact Details and Emergency Contacts pages, as well as the Company Directory. The Contact page of Person Data, Dependent Information, and Emergency Contacts pages also provide these validations for the HR Administrator. The HR Administrators will also see these messages when setting up companies, entering position data, and hiring people through the Smart HR feature. This completes our demonstration of the Validations and Formatting for Phone Numbers and Emails feature. PeopleSoft Fluid Position Management continues to enhance the user experience. Now, from the Position Details page, you can scroll through the search results without having to navigate back to the search page. The pages also display a more prominent Add button for inserting new effective dated rows for a position. When updating an existing row, you can now change the effective date from the Fluid pages. The system delivers approval process IDs for creating and managing position data transactions. You can easily update this information to include your own process IDs or disable this functionality based on the transaction type. This completes the usability enhancements for Fluid Position Management description. PeopleSoft enhances Fluid Life events, providing flexibility for users to classify, upload, approve, and manage multiple document uploads. With this new functionality, administrators can now configure specific requirements for attachments based on the type of life event. During the life event process, employees can see the documents that are required and attach these documents as well as add specific notes as needed. The Document Upload step displays the visited status if approval is required for the uploaded document. Approvers receive notifications as alerts and can use the link or the Approvals tile to open the Pending Approvals page. Click the new Benefits Document Filing option to view the documents uploaded through the Fluid Life Events page. Now you can approve or deny the uploaded document. Employees receive the approval results as alerts in the Employee Self-Service homepage and can open the Transactional Details page from the Notification link. The employee can also see details about the document upload on the Benefits Document tile. And the Benefits Administrator can view the document and the approval status from the Benefits Work Center. This completes the Approvals and Multiple Document Upload for Life Events feature description. With Image 37, PeopleSoft HCM Time and Labor enhances time and labor rules to support effective dated value lists. The Time and Labor Installation page now includes the Use Effective Dated Value List field. The enhancement adds effective dating to value lists while keeping the original tables in place. As part of the enhancement, we're delivering updates to the Time and Labor Rule templates which use value lists. This completes the Effective Dates for Time and Labor Value Lists feature description. Employees and managers can now use new Fluid Self-Service pages to view and maintain talent profile data. Employees can use the new My Profile dashboard to access profile data, like job profiles and their job interest lists. Managers can access the Team Profiles dashboard to review and maintain interest lists for their employees and update job profiles as needed. From within the Talent Profile pages, employees and managers can quickly navigate to the various profile pages using the Related Actions menu. This completes the Talent Profile Self-Service Enhancements description.
By integrating with Twilio, PeopleSoft Fluid Candidate Gateway now provides the option to send text messages to external applicants. Based on the consent of the applicant and the text configuration defined at the site setup, applicants receive text messages to their verified phone numbers. As an administrator, you can use the new Twilio setup page to capture Twilio account information. Use the text message page in Site Setup for text configuration. Select the Allow Text Notification checkbox to enable the text messaging option. Link the Twilio account on this page to complete the Twilio integration. Here you configure the text agreement using the Acknowledgement Framework, One-Time Password Expiration, Template for Text Messages, and other text-related information. Applicants can opt to receive text messages by selecting the option on the New User Registration page or Account Information page. Once this option is selected, an applicant can receive the text for registration, save search, and draft applications based on the site setup. At any time, the applicant can deselect the option on the My Account Information page to stop receiving text messages. This completes the Candidate Gateway Outbound Texting Feature Description. Enhancements to the Page and Field Configurator now support more fields and use cases for masking and standard configurations. New functionality applies field change events as users enter data on the page and extends the fields available as criteria to include those at level 1. A new field property allows you to set a field to blank based on specific criteria, and a new Advanced Options tab provides optional filtering capabilities to streamline field selection on large and complex components. Here's an example of a masking configuration on the personal data component using new functionality. With the extension of criteria to include additional fields at level 1, you can establish criteria based on phone type. Where phone type equals home, you can set the phone and extension fields to be masked. Once configured, the system masks the home phone number and extension on the personal data component. This completes the enhancement for Page and Field Configurator description. Global Payroll now enables administrators to view retroactive triggers on Review Triggers pages. In addition to existing trigger statuses, administrators can now view processed retro triggers for unfinalized calendar groups. This completes the Retroactive Triggers for Global Payroll feature description. Global Payroll for Brazil now supports the reporting of administrative and legal proceeding information to the government's eSocial system using the S1070 event. For customers who want to switch the reporting of proceeding information from their current systems over to Global Payroll for Brazil, a new batch process is available to import process data from the old system to PeopleSoft. Use the Administrative Legal Proceedings BRA page to manage proceeding information. When you add, update, or delete information from this page, the system evaluates and reports it to the government using the S1070 event as needed. If the administrative and legal proceedings functionality is enabled, you can reference the proceeding information on these pages using field prompts. This completes the eSocial S1070 event for Global Payroll Brazil feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.